Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is a love reading for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. It's not always going to completely resonate, so always take what does and then always watch your Rising, Moon, and Venus sign readings. And when you feel like you're in need of clarity or guidance with whatever it is that's going on in your life, the link to my Etsy shop is down below. You can click on that. There's a variety of readings over there. And that'll be the time that I tune in to adjust your energy. So this is a love reading. And children could be a part of your love life. It could be what's affecting your love life. And when this fell out, I also saw release your ex. So if there is like an ex around you that brings toxic energy into your, um, into your, you know, new connections, maybe uses the children as a barrier or a def like a defense mechanism. It's like you, it, you know, release that energy. You could have two dogs. It almost looks like a chocolate lab and then a whitish dog so, or three dogs. There's a puppy right here. And then there's two children. But I feel like if there is an ex that uses the children to keep a connection with you, there is a soulmate connection that exists around you. So it's like clear that energy out. Because you might miss that you bond with someone. For my Pisces. And with your harvest full moon, the harvest full moon in your sign, it's like you're not seeing through illusions anymore. You're going with your gut. Your, your psychic abilities are even more on point. All right, we got two. We got seductive love. So somebody could be seducing you in pure love. At the bottom, abstinence and love. Which, if that's what you're doing, I high-five you on that one. That takes some composure. You could be interested with someone from your place of employment. Could be a fire sign, but it's like you want to come together with someone and be a team. Water energy. Could be a fellow Piscean or Cancer. They have Cancer in their chart or Scorpio. But they're in the energy of feeling left out in the cold, of being maybe ghosted. Nine of Pentacles was in reverse with their energy. So I feel like it's almost like they believed somebody was their wish fulfillment. And then it turned out to have ghosted them and crushed them. Like I said, it could be a fellow co-worker that you're interested in but is going through something like this or has. Doesn't have to be just a co-worker. Just, you know, there's... Your person is definitely feeling sad. What is the current situation between Pisces and their person? King of Pentacles. Somebody could have been more... If this is somebody from the past, it could have been... You know, one of you was more focused on work. On your employment. On your stability on money or finances. But I definitely feel like an ending took place that was very hard. You felt so weighed down by it. But there is going to be a chance for a brand new beginning. And I believe that this energy coming through is a transformational energy. It 
definitely is going to be in a different energy of them when it ended. It could have been you that was the hard worker. Or, you know, might have put work before play. Yeah, see, there's definitely pain here. Heartbreak. There's healing going on with temperance at the bottom. And what is the overall outcome for Pisces of the person showing up in this reading? The communication. And it's coming in fast. The emotions expressed. The feelings expressed. What else for the overall outcome? Oh, for Pisces and their person. Ten of Wands. Feeling very burdened. You definitely are going to come together and have this conversation about burdens. Princess of Cups. Wanting to rush in and sweep each other off your feet. At the bottom is Seven of Wands. This is the card of standing your ground, of sticking up for yourself and what you truly believe in. I feel like you feel like you, it's like you feel you have been through battles. You've put your band-aids on your wounds, but you're ready to fight for what is meant to be in your life. So it's, you've been through struggles and battles that have weighed you down in endings. You stood your ground. And over here, it's like, this person I feel like you want to put the fight in for. It's You're not willing to give up. Alright, Spirit. Please clarify. My Pisces energy as being three of pentacles. Please clarify my Pisces energy as three of pentacles. I think another one flipped over. No, okay. Yeah. Eight of pentacles. The energy of being dedicated, of working hard. It could have been a tower moment. You know, that this, I really feel like this, there was an ending here. And it, it's possible because you, I feel like it was your energy because you're three of pentacles, eight of pentacles. You possibly worked too hard. You made that a priority. There were things that you needed to take care of. Your stability. And it almost feels like a tower moment happened in your life. And it might be that this person walked away from you. They felt alone. They felt like you were their wish fulfillment, but you weren't making them a priority. Emperor. It's like they knew their worth. And they weren't going to be a second choice. Please clarify the five of cups. And the Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they move. It's like they, they ended this quickly. Children could be a part of your life or their life. Or you both might have had children that weighed in on it. And it, added, it was additional stress for the two of you to spend some time together. But I feel like it's like they left quickly. There is, I mean, Knave of Pentacles, it's slow-moving energy back towards one another. Why is this Three of Swords here? The Three of Swords spirit. Knight of Chalices. So there might have been cheating. There might have been a third-party influence on this. Why is the King of Pentacles the current situation? Oh, too many. Oh, geez. All right, these all didn't flip over, so we're just going to put them back in. All right, 
right? So if this is a water sign or they could have earth in their chart, could be an earth sign, it's like they're keeping, they're struggling from coming towards you, letting them, letting you know how they feel. Even though there was an ending here and heartbreak, it's like they still have feelings that they want to express to you. It's a struggle. It almost feels like, you know, they've spent too much time thinking about it and there was no effort. You could have possibly moved on. And it was like a missed opportunity for them. And why the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Princess of Cups? This is definitely somebody from your past. So this is definitely somebody that you've had an ending with. There is, when the two of you were together, there was so much happiness within you. It's like you replay old memories of one another. You look through old photos, replay old messages of the two of you. Like there might be messages that you have saved of them and they have saved of you. Voicemail messages and they listen to it just because they want to hear your voice. But I feel like definitely this might have been a work connection or that one of you worked one of you could have been a boss, an employee connection. And it, it would it caused that tension. And one of you might have moved on. But there is definitely no talking here. But wanting to take a leap of faith. The offer is going to happen with the Ace of Chalices at the bottom. So it's either like a boss employee kind of connection or two coworkers or it's you know a connection where like I said somebody was very high up or they worked too hard they made that a priority and the other one just wanted to be the main focus. There could be children involved like I said that kind of like took more time away from the other. But all in all they realize that you are their happiness. And there's burdens of not being together. Let me know how it resonates, guys. You are the queer, a person you know, boyfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest. I feel like it's being guided back towards one another, like the lighthouse is going off. It's like a light for both of you to be on the same path. And this was definitely a tower moment in both of your lives. But you do feel like you are each other's wish fulfillment. Spirit, what else were they placing in and this connection? Yeah, one person felt alone a lot of the time. Definitely felt alone. You got stalemate and feeling alone and five of cups, sadness and feeling alone. There was obstacles in this connection, but they're being removed. It also could be that you find yourself dreaming about this person often. But if you look at this, obstacles being removed. The two of you reminiscing about the memories that you had made. And the feelings. It's like you revisit how you feel. You revisit things that you've done together. And like I said, the voicemails, the pictures. Obstacles are being removed in this connection though. It's almost like you both are seeing this from each other's perspective and coming together with more of an understanding of what each other wants. So a transformation. And why? Because you both are mirroring one another. You both are going through the same the same obstacles, the same journey. There will be balance that's brought to this.
It's like when you guys are good, you compliment one another. Somebody could have moved on to a karmic relationship, but that is ending. So answer their call, Pisces. Reach out like the two of you want to. I don't understand why it hasn't happened sooner. And look at this, higher level of commitment. Could be a blending of families with this children card here. It's like you both were so intrigued and passionate and seductive for one another. But then on the flip side, there was love. Pure love. All right, Pisces, let me know how this resonates. Um, I will be back for many more readings. Stay safe.